Hello everyone, Ben Emerson here. Today I'm going to be talking about how to film your swing the best you can to get some decent quality analysis when you're doing online coaching or you're just filming your own swing for your own analysis through your own software. There are so many really cool apps you can use nowadays but having the camera set up correctly is just such an important skill to be able to do to make sure you're consistent when you're looking at your swing or someone else is looking at your swing you don't want to have different camera angles or different funny positions to get different bad results all you're going to need to do this is just your phone i use the iphone here it's one of the best cameras i think on the market for filming your swing and i use just a tripod with a phone holder not very expensive you can pick them up on amazon for sort of 20 30 pounds this is quite a fancy one because it's lightweight and I take it everywhere and I'm constantly using it. But you just need something that you can get that's hip height, that can hold your phone and it's small enough that you can just either put in your bag or easily take with you to the range. So to, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the camera, where to put the tripod when you're filming and hopefully we can get you some quality analysis so when you're having those lessons or looking at your swing, you're getting the most detailed, accurate results coming up in today's video. So once you've got your phone out and ready, all I want you to do is click on camera and let's just check that your settings are bang on for what you're after for this. So for the, the iPhone, all I got to do is scroll across to slow motion and on the top right hand corner, I can see it's recording in HD and it's 120 frames per second. Now, 120 frames per second is great. It means we can slow it right down. It's capturing a load of stills and it means that I can look at your swing in a real de detailed way. If you were to click on it again, what you can see is 240 frames per second. Now, this is capturing more frames, so it is actually slowing it down more, but the image can look really grainy if you haven't got a lot of lights coming in. So we're okay here, we're in a big studio filled with lights, it works really well. If you're out in a nice summer's day, you're on holiday, you're playing abroad and you've got a place where there's a lot of sun, 240 frames per second gives us the slowest motion but like I said, it does require a lot of light. But for what I use on a daily basis, 120 frames per second gives me everything that I need. And I can still see the club, how, uh, club face clearly enough when it's actually coming through uh, the swing. What's so important though when you're doing this is actually this thing, the tripod. Now, I've seen so many videos that have been sent to me and people ask me, can you look at their swing? And they're just holding it like this or a friend's holding it and they're recording and they're moving around and they're not, you're not helping me guys when you're doing this. But what's worse is it's not a consistent angle when they're doing it. So there's only two angles that I really require. I just want a nice down the line view so the tripod is back far enough away so I can see the entire swing. I want to be able to see the swing if you are laid off, if the club's out off there. I, I, just, I want to be able to see all of it. And the other one is just simply face on. So again, just moving the tripod to a position that's far enough away that you can then, when you've got the phone on and you're swinging, you can then see everything, every part of that swing. I've seen videos where people, are, I can't see the club at the top. I've seen ones where there's no feet or they're missing their head. Trust me, I've seen so many bad ones. And it just makes it so much difficult to give you some quality analysis back. So just having those two views is great. And you can see when I'm doing it here, I very much, I can see the swing. I've got it in portrait mode, which again, if I've been in a closed environment like this, it's enough to give me a big wide angle and I can see everything. If I'm outside and I've got more space and there's no reason why I couldn't turn it to, to landscape and get more of the view. But as long as I can see the entire golfer, the entire swing, then we're, we're cooking on gas. So get the settings right. Make sure when you're filming, you're getting two very high quality videos using 120 frames per second or 240. The tripod is far enough away to see the entire swing from face on and down the line. I wanna see both and I wanna make sure that the tripod is at hip height 
looking at the hands from both views. So when it's down the line, you can put the tripod there and I wanna make sure I can see at my setup, I can see the hands. So it's at hip height, seeing the hands straight through to the target. If I'm looking at face on, again, literally just slap the phone right in front of you so it's pointing dead at your hands. That way I'll be able to see the entire swing and I'll be able to give you the best analysis possible back. Guys, thank you for watching that video. I hope it helps when it comes to recording your own swing. If you're doing this because you actually want to get some online coaching, then there's just, like I said, there's two videos that I'm after. It's just this very slow motion of face on and down the line of swings. And then just as much detail as you want to go into of the ball flight. So how did the ball start? What was the shape of it? Is it a consistent flight? It's what's the good shot? What's the bad shot? I want to know as much information as possible but if you're looking at the flight, I want to also know what is happening at the start line. So if you were to put an alignment stick literally just out in front and you hit, does that ball start to the left or to the right? Does it hit it? Does it go straight over it? I don't want to know if it just curves to the left. I want to know, did it start left and curve to the left? Or if you were to slice it, did it start right and then carry on slicing off to the right? Or did it come, did it actually start left and go off to the right? They're really important information that I like to know. So the more information you can give, the better. The other thing to go along with the two videos is how did the strike feel? Like, did you feel like you struck it out the middle? If you're using tape and you've actually got a picture of the impact tape where you can see that impact, again, send, send me that too, because I want to know what happens when you're doing it at your best, but I also like to know what you're doing when you're not doing it well. So sending me as much information as possible just really helps me get to the, your problems quicker, gives me the best opportunity to give you the best advice that I possibly can. And I really hope that you enjoy this online course.